It seems we hear the word mindfulness all the time these days. It's become a buzzword, but there's much more to it. What does it mean to be mindful, or for that matter, what is mindfulness? Take a moment and notice your thoughts. Maybe you're in the past thinking about something someone said to you and how you should have handled it. Or maybe your mind's in the future going over all you need to get done today. Mindfulness is being aware of what's happening right now, being in the present. Having an awareness of your surroundings, thoughts, and feelings. And the best part? You're doing it all without judgment. You're simply being aware. I asked Stacy Jorgensen to share an experience she had after she'd been practicing mindfulness for a few weeks. I took the mindfulness-based stress reduction class that the school district offered. It was a great experience. I learned a lot from that class. I learned things that I'll be able to use every day in my life. One of the things that really hit me was being more aware or present, being mindful. This fall, my husband and I went for a ride on our horses. This is something that we do quite often. Um, although this time, my experience was very different. As we were riding through the hills, I found myself really being present. I noticed the sunshine on my face and the warmth of the sun on my body. I could hear the leaves crunching under our horse's feet, and I noticed the freshness of the air. I saw the most beautiful bluebird. I could hear the water running in the creek. I felt more engaged in conversation. It was amazing. I kept asking myself why this day seemed so different from so many others. And the answer came, it was because I was being more aware and present. Such a little thing that made such a huge difference in my life. What an amazing experience. Thanks for sharing, Stacy. Now let's try a minute of mindfulness. Start by getting in a mindful position. Your back is upright. You're sitting still and quiet. Your mind and body are relaxed and alert. We're going to focus on something that's happening in us all the time. Our breath. Breath is neutral. It's just there, continually, all day, every day, breathing in, breathing out. We can find it any time we think about it. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Now just breathe normal. Notice where in your body you feel your breath. Maybe you feel it as it enters your nose, or you feel the movement of your chest or your belly. Follow the breath in this place for three full breaths. The place you feel your breath the most is your anchor. It's the place to anchor your attention. I'm going to ring a bell. With your eyes closed, let your attention go to the sound and simply listen to the sound from the moment it starts until it ends. Listen as closely as you can to see if you can actually hear the moment it ends. Notice how you feel, if it was challenging, if you notice thoughts or not, if you are able to listen to sound for several seconds. This experience helps you begin to develop observing a single thing for an extended period of time. Our minds will naturally wander away because they are made to be able to jump around. Actually, most of what we do each day is training our minds not to stay on one thing. Cell phones, texting, Facebook, Twitter, video games, all train the mind to move quickly. Because of that, this might feel uncomfortable in the beginning. Stick with it and notice the changes within yourself.